Okay, we can do another one. I'd like to remind you guys that today, and today only, you can get a cute little Valentine's Day package. It's a sticker of me, Lucky, and Toki, and a Valentine that says you're cute with the cats and me. Sticker Valentine. If you want it. <laughs> Unlock. I'm already getting one, I just wanted to do them all. Thank you, Nermi. That's really sweet of you. I'm already getting one, but I just wanted to do this. Should, um, thank you. Thank you so much, Nermi. Thanks for the 500 biddies. <sighs> I'm glad you're doing all right, June. I'm getting a weird phone call from a number that's literally a digit. There's one digit that's different from my phone number and that's creepy. Scam? That's so sus. It's not you, Aaron. That used to happen to you on your home, if, with your hometown. I get those all the time. Definitely scam energy. It is scam energy. I'm gonna block that number. Almost identical to your number. Yeah, this is definitely a scam. I don't think it's Aaron though. Aaron. It's probably spoofed. I don't like that. Don't call me. I'm not gonna pick my phone up. I don't care who it is. It, even my mom, I, like I'll answer my mom's phone calls, but like even then usually <laughs> I don't pick them up and I just call her back. <laughs> Hi Toki. <clears throat> I may pick my nose, but I don't pick up my phone. Exactly. You get it. Okay, where's that quest that we were- that we just started? Story quest for her. Go to quest. There it is. Navigate. We're right there. We got a Toki. I got a Toki. Toki, you're on a sticker. You're on a sticker. And everyone's getting one. Everyone's getting one. A lot of people are getting one. A lot of people got one today. A lot of people got one today. Yeah, you're so cute. You're handsome boy. I love you. He smells like a cat. Cats have different smells. He smells like Toki. <laughs> His breath stinks, but like he smells, he smells, I don't know how to describe it. Lucky smells like raspberries. I don't know why Lucky smells like raspberries, but he smells like raspberries. Toki smells like Toki. Hi Toki, I'm your biggest fan. Aww. You call it a Valentine pack, but really, we're lucky to get Toki. A token of a, your. Aww. Oh, it's you! Over here! Over here! Hi, it's Sarah! Sarah from the Good Hunter! Oh, finally! I We're doing Jean's story now. We're gonna do Jean's story. Something wrong? I have something I'd like the Knights of Fabonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Oh, uh, we're like peas in a pod. We've met. I'm <laughs> a loyal slave. Oh, oh my god. Slave? 
I never knew that such antiquated and aristocratic practices existed in the Knights of Pavonius. I was being sarcastic! Please! <laughs> Sorry, the Traveler just has a weird sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize Sarcasm. for being unable to It's Sarah from Good person. Hunter and Fred the from the so OK Hunter. Lately. Yes. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season you, that the Toki. route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. You hear that? I'm looking at my Hillichurl. I have a Hillichurl just like right up there. I'm staring at him. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. So you want the knights to clear the road. That would be great. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. I love you. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles, the bartender, said he's been having some trouble, too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. Okay. Master's day off. All right, where are we going? We're going this way. This way. We're going this way, Toki. I don't know where we're going, but we're going there. To the tavern. Oh, Stanley's here. Hi, fake Stanley. How are you doing? What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? He talks like we've never been here before. Does he not know? Do you not know who we are? since we're here to help help oh yes you're the acting grandmaster's new hotshot helper aren't you yes uh that's one way of putting it but great tell Jean i need my quarterly tax return forms then it's time to get elzer on to doing the accounts again i must say though the tax rate on alcohol in mondstadt is pretty steep do you really need to get Jean involved with stuff like this? And yet the Dawn Winery is somehow... Acting song. Grandmaster Jean personally goes over <clears throat> all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Paimon never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow! How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? Hi, Lord Way. How are you? It's good to see you. Happy Valentine's Day. <sighs> When you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. I'm glad you're doing okay. Come on, let's go and see Jean. Let's go see Jean. We're gonna go see Jean. Do 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 do. If I take it back out, Why are you slamming your head on my desk? Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna do it again. 
He's just slamming his head on my desk. Why are you doing that? Is it because you want to get pets? I will pet you. I'll pet you. <laughs> my cat's slamming his head on, on my desk, so I'm going to just give him pets because I think that's what he wants. This is what you want. You look so happy right now. I love you so much. It's Critchies! <laughs> Hi, Chameleon! Hey, you two! Margaret? What are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? Uh, you mean Diona? No, not her. I imagine Diona's probably still in the tavern. I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home, now he's gone. Did you seriously think Diona was a house cat? <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? I'd love to help. I guess we can have a look for your cat. Nah, you're always such a big softy. Uh, but yeah. Aren't we in the middle of something? We can look for the cat. Sarah and Charles need our help urgently too. The Let's cat. Let's see Jean first. The cat. The cat. The cat. You're on the way to see Jean. What a coincidence. I have cat hair all over my face. <laughs> I thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? We need him to buy TCG cards. I mean, it's Prince, right? We need him. Yes, absolutely. What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. Mmm, such a solid line of reasoning. I feel like this is a cla classic case of good people finish last. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Hey! Cat's hey! Tail. <laughs> Cat's Tail! Ugh, unbelievable! <laughs> Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! I'm fine with looking for a cat. It's important. Un <laughs> Unbelievable. How's it going, Phelan? Hello. <clears throat> uh, acting Grandmaster? Uh. Oh, uh, Master Jean? Hello? Oh, it's our honorary night. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. I got today off from work. I had to call in sick. Are you are you okay? Are you okay? How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. Oh my god, my desk is covered in cat hair. Tummy not happy. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you feel better soon. Somebody get Phelan a flat ginger ale stat. Stat. Not just any ginger ale. Canada dry. <laughs> feel better soon. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <clears throat> make arrangements accordingly. What do you mean, ew? You only have Schweppes? Yeah, that works too. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? She passing Sarah's out. Sarah's Charles, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. It's gonna work. Seems that's everything. It works. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Jean, are you okay? 
Something's wrong with Jean, and you bring her to the cathedral in search of assistant. We should bring her to the hospital? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. She really has a tough, doesn't she? Poor Jean. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. I gotta pee. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay. What were we doing? We were doing Jean's thing. I back. Uh, hi, Aaron. <sighs> Thanks, Faye. This wig does make me look soft. Oh, it's Kaya. Oh, it's Kaya. I've been waiting for you. I bet you were. Kaya. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. You have a job for us? It's like you read my mind. Of course, of we course. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Yes, connection. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Things like helping to fill in for Jean. Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been <laughs> handed off to someone else. Thanks. I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... to prepare. <sighs> Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Komodo, hi. Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See. 
See you later. Okay, let's go help. Yours is the cat that went missing. Venti! Have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary. It is I who needs the helping. I gotta help everybody. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right. Spoken just like a parent who chooses to spoil a said rascal. <laughs> Indeed. Just like Barbados. <laughs> yes, quite. Quite. <clears throat> Now, let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness, Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. What? These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animal energy? That'll help us! It's time for you to use your elemental sight again. I'm unsure there must be some elemental footprints or something. Thank you all. Prints should be somewhere around the marketplace or the residential area. It's a black cat you're looking for. Oh, we know Prince. We've met him before. He sells us cards. <laughs> uh, oh, take this fish. It's little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Mm, we get to fish. We get to fish some cats. Wow, we get to feed some cats. <laughs> we get to feed cats. I'm really excited. All right, let's fish some cats. Where are you? Wait, what? Prince should be somewhere around the marketplace. Remember, he's got black. Okay, we'll find him for you. It's fine. It's fine. We got him. We got him. There's Amber. There's Amber? Hey. Did you do you know where the do you know where the cat is, Mr. Dog? I don't think the dog knows where the cat is. Looking for a cat. Looking for a cat. All I can think about is Diluc. You guys think she's thinking about Diluc? Where's Stanley? Are you sad because you're faking your whole personality? You know, you should just be yourself. <laughs> Near me. Poor Stanley. I feel bad for him. You shouldn't fake being somebody else. There's only one of you. Looking for a cat. Hi, Miles. Have you seen a cat? Oh, there he is. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I caught him. I caught the cat. I caught the cat. That was, that was like, that was cat-like, cat-like reflexes. Get it? Because that was so fast. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> there we go. He looks like Toki. <gasps> Prince! Where did you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. We 
definitely had our work cut out for us looking for him. Do we? <laughs> oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Venti. You found them. <laughs> Wonderful. I was not optimistic they would turn up. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, no. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? He's allergic <laughs> to cats. Anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. <laughs> oh! Oh! Adventure rank 38! What? Hello! Hi, Catherine! Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, what? Applesauce Lady. I get to claim this now. Woo! 38! 38! Level 38! Heck yeah! Yay! This guy. Oh, Lisa's there. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool. Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally, just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Let's do the thing. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. We're just gonna f follow the map. Map. We're just gonna teleport over there. Yes, crystal core. I don't know what those do yet. I just keep collecting them. <laughs> but I don't know what they do. Oh, okay. Do I have to pop the balloon? Transport balloon. Hello. So this is where Charles's delivery disappeared to. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by Hilly Churls. <sighs> if you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! My friend here is a Hilly Churl exterminator! Extraordinaire. Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. I hope my hilly troll didn't hear that. <laughs> right, Fred? You didn't hear that, did you? I'm sorry. I don't I don't exterminate you guys. We're friends. We're good. It's cool. I love you. I love you so much. It's fine. My poor little hurler churl. And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. Ah, oh, crap. I'll be waiting up ahead. <sighs> okay, whatever. What are we doing? We have to protect this thing. 
Oh crap. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. You too. Go away. Stay back there with your friend. Tornado kick. Wait. Fireball. <laughs> Tornado kick. Go away. Oh crap. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Do the thing. Q. I don't know what that did. That didn't do nothing. There is no escape. Now you shall perish. Illusion shattered. Dodge this. Incinerate. There is no escape. My balloon's still intact? Okay, good, good. Um, I'm gonna break this down. Set this on fire, I guess. Probably eat um a hash brown. Fairy, hello! How you doing? Oh crap, what's this? Where did you guys come from? She was a fairy. Okay, they're dead. Moving along. Oh crap, not these guys. Wait, 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 wait. My balloon's still intact. How are you, Fairy Wing? It's good to see you. Oh shit, the wet guy's still alive. How are you still alive? Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Wheat. That thing's about to burst. There's something up here. What is it? More wheat. Doing quite well. That's good. Heck yeah. I'm glad. Alright, anyone else want some? I'm ready. I'll kick all your butts. Where are they? There's one. Wait, we're planted. Plant, plant, plant stuff. There's a plant guy over here. Illusion shattered. No. Switch. <laughs> You're on pain medication since Monday, but haven't noticed anything working yet. Oh, that's not good. I'm not falling for that one, Nermi. Potatoes! 
There was no potatoes. Did we do it? Did we get it? We did it! Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. We did it. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Yay! Go team! Hello! Um, did something happen? I just want to buy some of your fruits. Can we, f can we buy some of your fruits, please? Hi, Allie, welcome back. I think. Give right in fruit or else. Yeah, she's gonna stomp on us. She's gonna step on us. There is no escape. Oop. Did not mean to do that. Wrong button. Where are we going now? Go back to see Sarah's worries. There's Amber. Got it. I'll set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly churls on the delivery route? Oh... Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint! You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> Is there anything we can help with? Really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Allie, you made it in the pile. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure she can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the Good Hunter's business. A fight? Here comes Fairy Wing, yes. And Phelan. <sighs> I really like that Kappa. Oh, Phelan sniped. And that juicy booty. For this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, okay. Right. What are we Have doing? Have you brought me three sweet flowers and three fowls? Probably. Well, let me see. How do I have 48 of these? Oh yeah, I sent <laughs> I yep, sent someone that's everything. to do the thing for 20 hours. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. A sweet madame. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. You did say I like that they call it that instead of sweet sure madam. While it's hot. Sweet madame. These are so nice. I printed these on like cardstock and they're really cute. I'm excited to send those to you guys. I have to cut up all the rest of the stickers though. <laughs> I like, I like did a shitty job cutting this one, but I'm going to do a really good job with the other ones. I promise. I promise. You're excited to get yours, yay! 
Any news on that sweet madame? Oops. Still not ready. I see. Let's oh wait, no, that's a lie. I have like a ton of those. Any news on that sweet madame? Submit dish. Uh, maybe not that one. This one. Stickers. One sweet madame received. Mmm, it smells pretty good. You have a knack for this. Just the person I need. Hmm, since you cook so well, uh, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. Sticky honey roast? Oh, that's Paimon's I'm favorite. Sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. That's right. A mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? We're Just gonna learn how to make it. With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <clears throat> <laughs> as soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. Today's recommendation is... Mm, inventory. Stuff. 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 You want a hug from chat? Oh, that's cute. That's a good prize. Where is that recipe? Oh, there it is. Use. All right. Can we make it? F. Honey roast. Honey roast. Honey roast. Probably down here somewhere. Sticky honey roast. <gasps> I don't have sugar. <clears throat> I gotta make sugar. Best surprise ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Star Snatched Cliff is known for its views. I'm sorry? What did she just say? What? Wait, where? Today's recommendation is the steak. I didn't hear shit. Yeah, me neither. You're right, Nermi. Udon noodles. This makes me want sushi. I'm so sad about the sushi rice from yesterday. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know how to cook sushi rice, by the way, chat. Just... Here's a little information for you. I don't know how to cook sushi rice. <laughs> I am terrible at it. What do I do for two minutes? There's a strange wanderer near Haven't you heard that the bird is the mm. word? To wait four minutes for sugar unless Blanche you know what my time is precious I don't want to wait do you have sugar no sugar never mind I would like all your potatoes please someone else in the chat was saying how they couldn't make sushi rice either recently I think you may have been t-bone oh really yeah, mine was all crunchy and it made me really sad. I tried to like make it better by like adding more water and then it became like mushy and crunchy. I don't know how I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Who There's did that? No, Nervy. <laughs> I'm still waiting on one sticky honey roast. Have you got it? Shh. 
she has sugar. You're about to get some. I'm about to get you some honey roast. Honey roast. Where's the honey roast? Honey roast. Rice can be tricky. Well, that one was tricky. I'm still waiting on one sticky honey roast. Here you go. This is wow. Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing. You were born to be a head chef. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything else. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. <sighs> I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. It's been a day in the life of Jean. What? I wonder how she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. All right, let's go back, I think. That's a cathedral, right? Aaron. All right, we're back. Hello, Knight of Favonius. Smack. Where is she? Oh, that's not the cathedral. I have to go to the freaking church. Where is that again? I don't remember. Cathedral. At the top. Oh, I should change that. I'm gonna change that right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that right now. Okay. Exhausted. How's Jean doing? Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's great news! Let's go and see her! But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. Jean is still recovering? Will she be okay out there on her own, in her condition? That's what I'm worried about too. But I still have work to do here. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the animal Archon protect you. And Jean. We're doing great. You're doing so good. Let's go 
to the tree. Flowers. I'm picking flowers. That one can live. That one survived. It can live. It's such a nice tree. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. Hello, it's us. Your friends. Hi, Jean. Are you feeling better now? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? You can always rely on the other knights. Eh? Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? The protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Havonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Fang Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight and yet as fierce as the Lion Fang Knight. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. I could get used to Jean the Lion Fang Knight. Uh, Dandelion Knight suits you better. Paimon thinks so too. Huh? Jean? Who's there? Uh oh. <laughs> Caught red handed. It's Fred. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. Oh my god. <clears throat> Since this opportunity I know, it's so cute. Away, I shall now be slipped. Stop! <coughs> After him. <coughs> Jean, you're still recovering. You should go back and rest. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Yes, you can. Why not? Uh, I do trust you. But to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Fine. But at least let us go with you. Uh, 
Thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. All right, let's go get him. Damn, she's running so fast. Girl! What the heck? Start. I think this should be fine. Low level. Gotta go fast. Yeah, gotta go fast. We're going fast. There he is. Maybe, I think. Uh. Gotta look for treasure. <laughs> oh! What the frick? Are you hurt? Ugh. Darn him and his traps. It was a trap! How badly are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being injured because of me is the last thing I would wish for. Let me it's a trap! <laughs> I got exploded. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We're coming too. Okay. Yeah. But before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion breeze. It's okay, I got hash browns. <laughs> You're amazing. I got hash browns. But thank you. I guess now we get to try her out too. We're coming for you, hurl at churls. She's an animo? Animo. Anime. Animo. Anime. <laughs> Jean can't breathe my dandelion. I don't know what that means. <laughs> You guys are stuck. A lot of them are frozen. Thanks to you. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Yeah, get blown away. You're supposed to go with them. There was a treasure over here. I want it. Treasure, treasure, Tre treasure. Turnips. Radish, I mean. Radish. I like radishes because they're so rad. Get it? I'm gonna drown. No! <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> As if I died from that. Am I in the right place? If, if, <laughs> if. <laughs> like, how can I not go up? That makes no sense. <gasps> Treasure! Is this an answer from this world? Shine down! Cool it!
it was a trap. But it's okay, we got a treasure out of it. Die. That guy's gone. I <laughs> Nermy, thanks for the clip. <laughs> Lines and everything. This is so cute. So cute. Okay, where's that guy? Where's the little fire guy? Where are you? Yeah. Oh crap. Wait, 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 wait. I got a trick here. I got a trick. I got a trick. This. Yeah. That. Wait, you're supposed to get... What do you mean? What do you mean? You're supposed to fall! Fuck. You're supposed to fall. Jane's great, but I prefer Jack. Oh my god. Nermy! Game says nope. Oh, oh my god. Frostbite. Shine down. Barbados, guide us. Yeah, Barbados. Barbados Slim from Futurama. Hell yeah! There is no escape. Windblade. Wind, hear me. I killed everyone. That was fast. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. Barbara's not even here, bro. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she's not upset with me. Oh, I guess she was hanging out at the place for a while. What am I saying? I forgot about that. I forgot she was hanging out at the cathedral. <laughs> Like, what? Why are we talking about Barbara? Oh, yeah, she was at the cathedral. I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Oops. Good old ADHD.
give someone a chance to would be better than just standing around. Master, <coughs> you finally returned. The Animo Archon protects you. Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... Mm, has there been a bar fight? We'll go. She needs... We'll go, Jean needs rest. Um, okay. I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting grandmaster. Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake! What is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things onto Jean. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? I'm pretty sure Jean will never stop working, I guess. Jeez. All those salads look good. Oh, what's all this? <laughs> surprise, 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 surprise. It's a thank you party for you. Yeah, take that, Jean. You are being appreciated. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. <laughs> Allie. <laughs> Forced relaxation, now sit down! <laughs> we can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. Respectfully. <laughs> we thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy yourself, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh... That's really sweet. Jean? I... Uh, huh? Is this Jean when she's shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... Uh, this is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. How do you even know what her work is, huh? Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? What if he did it wrong? My Virgo ass. <laughs> Mirror! <laughs> As a workaholic who likes to work alone, I would also feel that way. Not to not to be mean, but it's like I I, I would appreciate it, but also like, what if you sent the wrong things to the wrong people? You know? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, Mir gets it though. I get it. Oh, that rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. 
And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. That's why when I had my bakery, I didn't have any employees. <laughs> I had no employees. I did everything myself. Because I was like, there's no way I'm delivering a cake that's been fucked up by a random person. Nope. <laughs> If you forget the sugar, if I forget the sugar, I can blame myself. I would. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to be upset over anyone, cause accidents happen. So I'd rather fuck it up myself than have other people fuck it up. If that makes sense. Enough already. Cause I can fix no it. About <laughs> I can work fix today. it. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. <laughs> Breaks are important. You'll be better at working after resting. Do it. <laughs> yeah, Jean, get a, take a little rest. What if you bake someone an eight-inch eight cake and they got mad about what eight inches is? Oh my god, Nermi. Nermi and I, when I lived in Toronto, oh, oh, we hung out and we went to a bakery together and there was this person that got really upset at the baker's for giving them an 8 inch cake, apparently it wasn't big enough. I think it was 6 inch, it wasn't 8 inch, it was 6 inch. It was a 6 inch cake. It was a 6 inch cake. And the person was like, yes, you can feed that many people with this cake, because you can, when you cut it, it does that many pieces. And it says so on the, uh, on the websites, because they ordered it online. So yes, you can feed. You can feed six people with a six inch cake, but they expected like basically a sheet cake. But me and Nermi, me who has had a bakery, I understand people getting upset over sizes of cake, but it's like, you know what you ordered. If you don't know what six inches is, that's, that's a you problem. But this lady was just going off at the baker and I felt so freaking bad for the baker because it's like, I've been there. I've been there and it's like, why are you pissed off? about what you ordered. If you don't know what six inches, get yourself a ruler. <laughs> Sorry, that triggered me. <laughs> the poor person working seemed ready to cry. Yeah, I wanted to hug them. Did I end up hugging them near me? I don't remember. I think I said, I want to hug you. And they were like, that's okay. I ended up, ended up like, yeah. Get a tape measure. Yeah, I was so upset for them. I was so upset. Uh, it's like <laughs> I get it. People sometimes don't like to read. I, I I'm like that too. I don't read, but it's it's the same everywhere. If you don't read and you don't check the fine print of what you're purchasing, that's on you. That is not on the people that are working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't the first bad thing that happened to them that day? Yeah, it, they they looked like they were about to have a mental breakdown. I felt re really bad for them. And that's like, that's a thing that people sometimes will ask me, like, have you ever thought of reopening your bakery? And I'm just like, do you have any idea how much, like, stress it is to have a bakery? And, like, I was running that stuff alone. And I don't know how the frick I did it. I don't know how I did it, because, like, thinking back, I'm just like, what, what, what? What? <laughs> Working with customers now, I will. I would start laughing and be like, oh, "What do you think six inches?" Yeah. No, I felt really bad for them. I feel really bad. This cake is six inches, regardless of uh, what you tell your lover, <laughs> take it or leave it. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. It's, it's a very, very. Very sad. It was- I felt bad for the- Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the cuckoo's nest. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's moments like that. Sometimes I think about like, oh man, I miss- I miss baking. I miss being a baker. And then I think of like- I'll think of that time that me and Nermi were out and... It's like, no. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? Me, it's the time I had to do wedding cake. I had to do a wedding cake and the person changed their mind about like the colors 
a week before their wedding, and I'm just like, listen, do you even know how long it takes to make gum paste flowers? I had to do roses, okay? And they changed their minds of the color of the flowers a week before their wedding, and I'm just like, listen, it takes me, like, a week to make these flowers, and I can't just flip a switch. <sighs> anyway... <laughs> I am a little distracted now with the, the bakery <laughs> chat. Let's continue along. <laughs> I do not miss working with the public. I hope I never do again. Yeah, I like I like what I'm doing. I don't mind I don't mind working with public. I'm really good at customer service. Um I'm really good at customer service, but I feel like people nowadays have a lot less patience than they used to. So people are a lot more aggressive and meaner. And Thank I you. don't think I want to deal with people like that anymore, unfortunately. Um, so yeah. I, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> I love V lore. V is like an onion. So many layers. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> so you're saying the cake wasn't the only thing that could have been in tears? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no. Running a bakery, working in dentistry, getting married in Vegas, now an artist and a streamer. So many layers of BK. Yeah, I'm the kind of person who's tried jobs to f find experience. Didn't I tell you guys this the other day? I wanted to work at Shoppers Drug Mart's post office just because I wanted to see how it works. That's how I picked my jobs. I wanted to know how something worked, and I picked my jobs that way. I didn't care about the money. It's never been about the money for me. It's always been about the experience and what I like. <laughs> And I always thought it was weird that when people are like, you've worked so many jobs. Like, I don't understand why you've worked so many jobs. It's because, like, I would try something, and if I didn't like it, I would just peace out. It's like, this is not for me. I worked at Subway for two days because, like, that was not for me. I thought making sandwiches would be fun, but it's like, no, it's not fun. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's like, experience over... Experience was a lot more important to me than, you know. I mean, money is important to pay your bills, but at the at the end of the day, that's a good way to try what you want. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to try a bunch of stuff, and I did juggle like jobs. I did. I used to pl work like three jobs at a time, so it's not because I was working one at a time, but I've I've worked like three jobs at a time. It was an interesting life. I had an interest. I'm having an interesting. I love my. I don't know. I, I like. I like trying new things. It's fun. <laughs> Your programming doesn't allow that, but you appreciate it. I mean, everyone's different. That's how I work, I, and I mean, that's that's how I've kind of always been. So, at least it was dentistry and bakery at the same time, sir. You need to brush your teeth and floss more often. Also, would you like a slice of complimentary chocolate fudge cake? I mean, basically, I was getting into baking as I was doing dentistry. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Oh, jeez. My least favorite part about working at the sub shop I did was having to call out people's names. It's amazing how many names you pronounce incorrectly. It, that would be like Starbucks, right? When you work at Starbucks and you're just like... People's names are... yeah. <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. I can write a book. I have, but it's not about my life. <laughs> Me? The organizer? See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. All those last minute urgent orders. It was you all along. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. 
Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <laughs> like when you call out O'Neill and they would come back uh, and say it's pronounced Tsibano. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> When I'm out with my partner, I have them call out their name. My IRL name is too hard for some folks. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let let's the party. party. Woo, food. I want. I want a bite of that salad. It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Everyone thinks we partying do hard. Fun. Let's go and mingle. I'm gonna sit here because. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Okay, but I gotta pee, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna be right back. I have to pee. <laughs> Alright, let's go see Jean. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Where is she? Jean? Okay, they said she was up here. Is she up up? Where did she go? Outside? Maybe she went outside. There she is. Oh, it is you. It is I. There you are. Are you having a good time? Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. Oh no. I want to thank you again. Actually, I knew nothing about this the whole time. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion fang knight. The lion fang knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. Okay. But it was the Dandelion Knight that represented her hopes for the future. A future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. Mmm, Jean, Vanessa would be so proud of who you are right now. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us. Whether from high up above, or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead! Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Master's Day Off. Complete. Are we done? That's it. That's it. That's it for Jean? J. I think that's it.